Hello guys, this is Ethan Heck Show here. Before I want to start this video, I want to know if anybody was interested in making me an intro. And if you're interested in making me an intro, leave a comment in the box below. And leave feedback there too. So first we're going to start on my left side of my dock and move all the way to the right side. I'm not going to go, if they're not big clients, I'm not going to go into them. But, so, so I'm going to start with Finder. It's not, it's really easy to, um, to navigate. You can navigate files from lock files to private files to personal files and stuff. And it's pretty nice. Instead of spotlight search, it lets you have full access to everything. Every single file on your computer, even the coding and HTML coding that Apple preloads. So you can delete all these preloaded applications if you didn't know that. Um, next one, we have the Mac App Store that lets you download applications. And it just... Um, I have some apps here that I'm going to be showing you, so go download that if it doesn't work on PC unless you have um, Hackintosh, you have to learn how to do that. I might do a tutorial if I really want to. I do not have a PC, so I can't right now at the moment. So next we have Dashboard. That lets me show my weather, my calculator, my calendar, and the time in Toronto. So right now is around 2-ish and it's pretty nice next we have the biggest mail client for mac os is the preloaded one and the next one is going to be called mail 5 it has a better in um interface because i have it preloaded on my act i mean my i have it loaded on my old macbook that it's pretty nice it has a great interface it's a little harder to set up but whatever so next we're going to start with safari we're going to go to the safari Safari is the main browser that Apple encourages to use instead of over this. For right now, it's a letdown because you can get the Mac Defender virus really, really fast. It preloads it. You do not know when it loads. You're just going to see a, a big fail on your computer. So um, right now, I'm using a little bit of Google Chrome, and I'm trying to limit my um, using Safari because I like it so much. But next, we're going to go on to FaceTime. FaceTime is a video calling uh, session with other people around the world. If you want to go FaceTime me, I will have it in the description. Make sure to go read the description because I I spend really long time on that and it's pretty good. So the next we had the address book to keep all the friends phone numbers. If you lost your friends number, you're going to be like, oh no, I lost my friends number. Just tick your address book. So that's pretty nice. It comes preloaded with Mac OS 10 and 9, I believe. So next we have iCalendar. This is good for college and university students because you can like write all your classes from Sunday and you get a huge humongous calendar from like May 2011 right now until like infinity and beyond. So that's pretty nice. You can also set it up for work and home. So that's pretty nice. So next we have preview. This is the photo viewing application. So I'm not going to go into it because it has nothing to show until you click on an icon or a video or a picture. It will open with preview if you set it to that. And when you open in Mac and says in English, Disponcho, I don't know. And it will ask you that when you set it up, I think. <laughs> so next we have iTunes 10 that you can download again so you're gonna get home sharing from your ipod ipod touch uh everything let you update your files let you get your isbws your music tv shows podcast radio and it's nice it just it blows every other mp3 holder client and it probably is the only one down there please correct me in the below if i'm wrong about that or if there's another big one i know there is google music but that's right on the web browser. Uh, next, we're going to go into Photo Booth. Photo Booth is a photo taking client that lets you do most effects to it. So, it also lets you do these kind of effects over here. You get four pages, but you could get a photo after effects. I'm going to try to leave a link in the description if you can see that, if you want more effects. So, I look really strange there. And it does work good, but when you're using those background effects, it, it looks crappy, just saying. Next, we're gonna get into iPhoto. This is a photo uh, taken app. You can plug your Canon PowerShot and everything onto here. It is good for screen flow, so you can just upload them right onto here, and it's just fabulous to use it. You can edit, create, crop, everything, trash it, let, last imported. You can see 
what you deleted and stuff so you could share them to YouTube and stuff if you join the slideshow. Next we have iMovie. This is my favorite editing client that lets you do everything editing. I'm gonna try to try Final Cut Express. I really like iMovie's uh, style of doing it. Um, I do delete all my videos that I upload every day. I just edited this one as you see right here. Um, there. So it is a nice process to doing editing and stuff. And it's just nice. You can share it right to YouTube HD. You can export it to your desktop, do some stuff with it, and that's nice. It always uploads at HD 720p. It depends on your camera. If you're using a Canon 2Ti or a 3Ti, you will get full HD probably. <laughs> so next we're going to go into GarageBand. GarageBand, GarageBand is the, probably really slow to load up, but when you load it up, you're going to love it forever. So you can do a piano, electric guitar, voice, loops, and keyboard collection, acoustic songwriting. So that's easier instead of pulling text edit out and doing that. Uh, it is a nice thing. I do not use it on my Mac, but it's just okay. It's really fun on the iPad. So it just looks really good. So next we're gonna go into the next application. It is Time Machine. Time Machine lets you back up files from older computers and just let you transfer them over here or leave them in the history correct me if i'm wrong with that and just correct them if you delete the file and empty the trash can go in time machine and get it back so next we're going to go into system system preferences this lets you access your accounts make people mid like guest sharing and let like screen sharing that is available so you have your doc exposes spaces everything i use mouses a lot and print and fax that's more part of it you can just go to software update that i use usually because the mac os um macbooks get a lot of updates right now you know so next we're going to go into my twitter favorite twitter client this is free in the app store and it is just the best twitter client it blows every twitter client i do like twitter effect on the ipad too better because it just has to like a little better info interface but this one has a great interface you could switch accounts while typing let's just say oh no i i posted it on my other account i want to change it you can retweet really easy at the click of the button so if i want to retweet this blah and type really easily it will pull up something here and you can type them both or you can just delete one and it's pretty nice i like my favorite youtubers here so next we're gonna go into stripe physicals correct this is a free app in the Mac store. It's a really fun app and it does have a lot of annoying music, but you get every single level for free and it is really fun. You're trying to keep these blocks on without dying. So I do really suck at this game, but it is really, really fun to play. That's a pretty cool application. They are the creators of Copter. So go check them out in the Mac app store like I told you to. So the next application is Xcode. Xcode is a app developer uh, thing and you make your own um, apps and stuff so if guys I do really not know how to use this I know how to make like really really basic stuff if you want to go teach me and leave a comment below and you guys will get a shout out box box and stuff and so just PM me if you really like to if we're gonna go far forward with that so next we have Mac tracker this lets me tell all the vintage computers it also tells you my model so if I have want to sell it one day i will know the exact specs on it everything if i just forget it because people do forget it so you could just see all of them like i don't know i didn't know half of these until i just get in here i knew a lot of these but yeah so there's the g4 and stuff so it lets you have the history and stuff um desktops everything you can go netbooks you could see the devices you could see the software so if we go to the software we're going to see that it has mac os x here here's the syst first system software that's the first one so i'm not going to go in depth with that but it's really fun application it's free go check it out in the mac app store again text edit is a client where you type and you do all your stuff like Ethan texture is the best and you can edit that and like make it bigger and make change the font and do a lot of things It does come preloaded with the Mac app with your Mac and it's a really good application So next uh, is Google Chrome Google Chrome is my favorite web browser right now 
because the Safari one is really causing people problems and Apple's not doing anything about it. So what I like about it is I got Angry Birds Free, Plants vs. Zombies, Cargo Bridge. In it, it has the web store. You can change this. So you know how you can do a lot. You're a lot freer to your access. You can lock websites really easy at the click of a button. You can favorite them by clicking at the bottom instead of uh, dragging in Safari and just dragging them into it. It's a lot faster. And it's just a really great browser. It lets you load up websites as fast as you can. And it's just blows every other competition it is really ultra is the one under it so go check that out i have a review on that um check my channel out i have some reviews of that and that's pretty good so next we have ScreenFlow. i am running this right now to record my screen you can also do video but i do not want to right now uh so we're gonna go to the top bar over here really scan this really quick this is ScreenFlow to end it this is Twitter. You can do a really new tweet from here. That's also a new cool feature. Instead of open Twitter client, the here's Time Machine, Bluetooth enabled, uh, Wi-Fi, sound, um, battery, date, and spotlight search. Spotlight search is a navigate system, but it doesn't give you full access to your computer. So guys, this is Ethan Tech Show here. And this is 11 minutes long, so feel free to subscribe, comment, and rate for all your tech info.